Hogsmeade, here I come. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demiguy statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student too cowardly to do it himself <laughs> hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were an inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, <sighs> fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Revelio.
Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. Come down, then part of the view. Aloha Mora. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Rebellion.
Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Some days are more difficult than others. Lassie, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind, and I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. I'm sorry, Natty. I wish there was something I could do to help. You have done plenty. In fact, many of my good days are good because of you. The bad days, however. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them, beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. Rebellion.
abandoned long ago, no doubt. Revelio. Rebellion. This looks intriguing. A new dress in stock. A style straight from the sounds uh, in Paris. Uh. Revelio. It's you! Oh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my dear Isco. He often speaks of the bravery you showed. You have my undying gratitude. Hello, Mrs. Rabe. How is Mr. Rabe doing? He's resting at the moment, but seems to be in good spirits. I hope the next time Rookwood's lot comes calling, you'll alert the authorities. Yes, I will. Lesson learned. If I'd known what you were planning, well, let's just say I'm desperately glad you're all right. Rookwood's criminals aren't to be trifled with. Promise me you'll stay safe. Your bravery is to be admired, but taking unnecessary risks, well... Don't worry, Mrs. Rabe. I can take care of myself. Yes, I believe you can. Thank you again for everything. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You made it! I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours, and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone.
You don't think the reasons are okay are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Departure! Revelio. Foipers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopa's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. If the Moonstone is here and so are Fwoopa's, I wonder if it's being protected. Rebellion. Rebellion. We need to Lumos. find mods for those spinners. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. Accio.
Lumos. Perhaps the runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Lumos. Accio. Rebellion. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Akio. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. Lumos. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind.
Revelio. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here, I just know it. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. Oh. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Revelio. directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. <laughs> Rebellion. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. is to see even one. They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the Moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Garan that I've managed to see not one but two Mooncalf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... 
Well, the night I met High Wing, actually, I... If you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen, a good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin? I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around, always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just... barely. I think the pattern's a... bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course! That's it! We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. <laughs>